What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? It's David here with Mac Tutorials 14. And so today, as you guys can see, I have iOS 8.1 on my device. As you guys can see, I do have, I am running iOS 8. Slide to unlock here, and I am running iOS 8.1 jailbroken, as you guys can see by this Apple Watch UI. So I thought I'd bring this video to you guys, basically just to show you guys what the Apple Watch UI looked like running on a jailbroken iPhone 5 with iOS 8.1. So today, I did make the jump um, from iOS 7.1.2 on my iPhone 5 jailbroken with Pangu with the version with the original version of Pangu um, to iOS 8.1 using Pangu 8 and I successfully jailbroke and now as you guys can see I have this so if you guys don't know basically this was actually a concept idea um, from someone they said wouldn't it be an awesome thing to have the Apple Watch UI on an iPhone um, or iPad or iDevice other than the Apple Watch um, so someone actually made that a reality and um, they were able to compile a, um, a basically a build, but it was really a dummy app. It, it only uh, basically emulated what it would look like. It, it allowed you to zoom in and out and do stuff like this, but it didn't actually allow you to launch any specific applications as it would not actually launch it. It was not an application launcher as of yet. But then a couple of weeks later, someone actually developed um, this tweak now known as Watch Spring. Now it's not it's not actually available default on the Big Boss repo, or it's not available really. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know if any other shady repo has it. I'm sure someone has it. Um, but if you want to see a proper tutorial of how to install it, uh, please be sure to leave a comment in the comment area below telling me guys that you want a tutorial on how to install WatchSpring. But anyway, guys, as you guys can see, um, in this version of WatchSpring, I can actually um, have this. So I can launch applications. Let's go ahead and launch the health app, as you guys can see. Um, now the, um, you know, the, I, I just like the UI of it. I think the UI is really awesome as well as the animations from application to application when you, when you're opening it and when you're closing it, I think it's really smooth applica the, uh, the really smooth animations. Um, another awesome thing about this is as well, I can go ahead and zoom out and I can see a, um, I can see a more, um, in depth looking kind of thing of all of my icons at once. So as you guys can see, I can see Cydia, Instagram, App Store, Notes, Videos, Music, Phone, FaceTime, YouTube, Camera, Twitter, Pangu, and I can just keep going on and on. I see a bunch of them because they're all of my applications on my phone. But now if we go ahead and zoom in closer, and if we go ahead and zoom in to just a couple of apps, all I can see that's visible right now is camera, SoundCloud, FaceTime, YouTube, Maps, Clock, Music, Messages, Calculator, iButtons, Health Privacy Service, and iTunes Store. But then, like I said, if you zoom out and you get smaller and smaller, you can see, you can gradually see more and more um, different things. You can also, just to show you that this does work with any application on your springboard, I'm going to go ahead and open up Twitter, as you guys can see. And this is fully functional. This is my Twitter application, as you guys can see at MacTutorials14. If you're not following me on Twitter, definitely make sure to follow me at MacTutorials14 on Twitter. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it, as well as, um, you know, I could definitely go ahead and launch settings and show you guys that by going into general and about, I am on iOS 8.1 and I am verified. Um, so if you guys want to download this, it is called Watch Spring, as I said. So it is called Watch Spring. Uh, it is version 1.0-2. It's by ki.gg. Um, and anyway, guys, if you do want to go ahead and uninstall that for any reason, just go to the package contents and select remove, and then just go ahead and let it apply and then respring your device, and you should be back to normal. Anyway, guys, this is pretty awesome. I can't wait to play around with this some more. Um, I can't wait to see what um, some more developers do with the iOS 8, with the all-new iOS 8 developer API. Um, you know, what different jailbreak developers do. I can't wait to see that. Anyway, guys, uh, if you want more tutorials, if you want uh, if you want me to show you guys how to get WatchSpring, how to download WatchSpring, because you actually do have to SSH into your device um, and actually install it manually. So if you want to know how to do that and you want an in-depth tutorial on how to do that, let me know down in the comment area below if you like this. And anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, this is David signing out. Peace.